Hi there and welcome back. If you're looking for easy and effective ways to improve your productivity with Google Tools, you're in the right place. Today we're diving deep into Google Drive. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. Now let's dive into organizing your digital world with Google Drive. If you haven't already created a Google account, make sure to head over to Gmail and sign up because everything we'll be doing today requires that. First up, we'll look at how to create folders and files in Google Drive to keep everything neat and organized. Let's jump to the screen. Once you have your account, navigate to drive.google.com and sign in. Now that Google Drive is ready, Let's start by organizing your files and folders and creating some new documents. To keep your drive organized, it is best to start with folders. Let's click uh, on new and new folder. Okay, I'm going to name this class material. You can also create files directly in drive. Now click new again, and this time I'm going to select uh, Google Docs. And I'm going to name this lesson plan. Our lesson plan document is ready. Let's see how it looks in Google Drive. So it looks like the, the new name is in here. I'm going to refresh it and then, so here is the lesson plan. Now that we've got our folder set up, it is time to start uploading some files, both single and multiple. Whether dragging and dropping or using the upload button, I will show you both methods. Let's go. If you have existing files on your computer, you can easily upload them into Google Drive. To upload a single file, we need to click New, and here, uh, file, click File Upload. And then on my desktop, on my desktop, I have here Lesson Material. And I'm going to upload uh, this file, okay? And as you see, it's being uploaded. Yeah, it's uploaded, it's, it was a, um, Word document. And this time I'm going to upload multiple files, okay? I will click New, File, Upload. I will select the, this one of the files and then uh, press Control on Windows and Command in Mac. And then I will hit the second file. I want to upload this one to while pressing uh, Control and Open. You see, uh, they are being uploaded. They're uploaded now. There's one more way to upload files. You can simply, uh, let's make this small, uh, small screen, okay. Either, and files are here. I will open the folder. Let me also make a small screen. And I will simply drag the files here. I have one, two, three, four. I'm going to upload rest by dragging and dropping. Okay, so they have been uploaded. Once your file's in Drive, you'll want to keep them organized. I'll walk you through different ways to move, copy, rename your files and folders for a smooth workflow. To keep things neat, you can move your files into folders. Just drag and drop them into the desired folder. I'm going to select some of the files. Again, I will press Control or Command in Mac. Uh, I will move this, this one, one, this one into uh, class materials, okay? I'm going to move project proposal into project folder. You can also move files by right-clicking your mouse and then organize and then move. After that, you just need to select the folder. Google Drive also lets you color code folders to make them easier to spot. For example, I'm going to make this one um, uh, blue and this one uh, green. Okay. Next, uh, we will look at how to rename, copy, and manage these files. Uh, to copy a file, okay. and simply right-click and choose Make a Copy. Let's make a copy of Lesson Plan. Okay. So uh, I'm going to make a copy of this one, but this time I'm going to use a different method uh, instead of uh, 
uh, right clicking and making a copy i will go to this three dots here and then make a copy it's the same way now that we have copies let's go over how to rename them i'm going to rename this copy of lesson plan and i'm going to make it lesson plan version two okay and i will do the in the same way, uh, I'm going to rename homework assignment. This time I'm going to use the second method and I'm going to make it homework assignment version 2. Next up, we'll go over how to delete unwanted files and recover them if needed. If you no longer need the file, just right click on it and then uh, move to trash files are moved to the trash where they stay for 30 days you can restore them anytime by going to trash okay and right click and restore next we'll explore how to share files and collaborate with others what is really great about google drive is how easy it is to share files and collaborate Let's take a look at how to share files and folders, adjust permissions, and work together with others in real time. Google Drive makes sharing easy. You just need to right click on the file or folder you want to share, and then click share. And here in this box, we need to add the email address of the person or email addresses of the people we want to share the file with. I'm going to share it with my other email. Okay, and then, and here we can set the permission. We have three options. Viewers only allow people to just view uh, the content of the file, and commenter they can view, and they can also write comment. And editors can edit the uh, file. You also generate the shareable link uh, by clicking this icon. So when you do that, the link will be copied, and you can simply share the link with people via email or whatsapp and also you can write here some message and if you tick this box people uh, will get notification via email and and then you will just need to click send finally let's explore google drive's powerful search and filter option as your drive grows finding specific files can become tricky in that case, we'll use search bar at the top and apply filter and nar narrow down your results. You can use search bar at the top. Okay, I'm going to search for class schedule. You can also apply filter. Okay, so let's click here and we can search by file type. Okay, so for example, I'm going to search uh, PF files. Okay, so I have two PDF files. And what if I search for a presentation? Let's try one more time. This time, in a file, I'm going to look for files owned by me. Okay, so these are the files that are created by me. All right, so let's see what else we have here. There are so many things. For example, now this time I'm going to search. Uh, for a file that is shared with uh, shared to uh, yeah this one this file I shared earlier there's only one file before we wrap up let's see how to download files and folders from Google Drive okay so if you need to download files uh, from Drive it is very simple you just need to right click and then uh, Download. You can also download it from here. And downloading folders is the same way, actually. Let's say I want to download project folder, right click and download. So it's first, as you see, it is zipping the uh, folder. Okay. And then, yeah, it's downloaded. It shows here. So you can view the downloaded files. Simply open it, or you can go inside the okay. folder. Okay. 
Now that we have covered the key features, let's wrap things up. And that's it. You mastered how to organize, share, and collaborate on files in Google Drive. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials on Google tools, educational platforms, and AI tools to enhance your workflow. In our next video, we'll dive into Google Docs basics, formatting and collaboration, where you will learn how to format your documents, collaborate with others in real time. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss it. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let us know how you are planning to use these Google Drive features in your daily workflow. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.